After this lesson, you will understand general notes, understand schedules, and understand sheets. In this video, we will take a look at notes, schedules, and drawing sheets. Go ahead and open up the model SC Unit 6, Imperial 2021. First thing we'll do is open up some general notes. In the project browser, scroll down to the drafting view and open up 101 Structural Steel General Notes. General notes usually apply to the entire project and sheet notes are relevant to a particular drawing sheet. Typically examples of general notes will be conformance to specific design codes and the units of measurement used. These are not specific to any one part of the project and are intended to reinforce contractual information and these are often carried on drawing sheets. Let's now take a look at some sheet notes. In the project browser, Scroll down and open up S202 Mezzanine Floor Plan. Sheet notes are, by their very nature, specific to each sheet and carry information such as links to other drawings and documents. You will often find common dimensional values which are intended to simplify the amount of dimensions and note annotations on a drawing view. This is an important aspect as drawing sheets can become quickly congested with dimensions and repetitive tags and information. In this example here, you can see that we have some general plan notes here, and the sheet note is giving us reference to see section 400 sheets for framing elevations and 500 sheets for some masonry elements. Also here, you'll notice that we have a beam and column schedule, signifying the type mark and the actual structural section size used. Let's now take a look at schedules. In the project browser, go ahead and open up general material quantities. Schedules are another view into the Revit database and show information and detail in a tabular view. The schedules are directly linked to the information in the Revit database and hence update automatically and always show current up-to-date data. The schedule can be used to view total material usage within a project which is useful for costing but can also drill down to specific information that can be used to tag elements in views such as beam and column marks. In the project browser, go ahead and open up the beam schedule. In this example here you can see a beam schedule which is showing our type mark and also our section size used. In the project browser, go ahead and open up the drawing list. This type of schedule provides a tabular list of all the drawing sheets within a project. In this example, the sheet number and sheet name are shown, as well as information on the designer and the drafter. This schedule can then be added to a cover sheet to show all the drawings in the project. Of course, this list will update as the project develops. This highlights the importance of a data-driven BIM project for accuracy and speed of project delivery. Let's now move on to sheets. Sheets provide a convenient medium to show a combination of information from the Revit database such as views, notes and contractual information. The sheets dynamically update and refresh when any of the views and data updates, which means up-to-date information is always presented. In the project browser, go ahead and open up S201 Foundation Plan. A sheet will have a custom title block, which will carry important information such as the sheet name, the drawing number, current revision and the drawing scale. There are many different types of sheets in a typical project. In this project here you can see that we have an index sheet. The index sheet here is showing a variety of 3D views as well as our sheet list we just saw in the schedules. You'll also notice here we have a sheet with our general notes. Another one here for a foundation plan showing a 3D view and also a plan view. A bit further down, you can see that we have a sheet detailing the elevations. And here we have a full building section. To illustrate the process of creating sheets, we will now create a new sheet to document the roof plan and details. In the project browser, right click on Sheets and select New Sheet. In the New Sheet dialog box, check that the first option is selected and click OK. We now have a new sheet generated. We'll begin by adding the plan view S203 roof apex. In the project browser, scroll up to structural plans, locate the view S203 roof and drag and drop onto the drawing sheet. You can place the sheet by left clicking 
and then fine tune the position on the sheet with the cursor keys. Next, we add a 3D view. In the project browser, under the 3D views folder, let's go ahead here and add truss view. Once again, we will drag and drop that view and place it down on the drawing sheet. Notice here that we have our view titles. We can adjust the view title by selecting the view and then selecting the grip and dragging the grip back to change the length of the view title. We can do the same with our 3D detail. And once again, we can use our cursor keys just to nudge the view into the correct position. Next, we'll add an elevation for our truss. In the project browser, under the elevations internal elevations folder, you'll notice here we have truss one. Drag and drop truss one onto the drawing sheet and then place that view down. Using the same process as before, when the view is selected, you'll notice it exposes the grip. We'll drag our grip to change the length of our view title. Again, we can select the view and we can use the cursor pad to nudge the view into a better location. Here, we can just change our view title position. And there's the views added to the sheet. Next, we'll add some information into the title block. So let's zoom into the title block. And the first thing we'll do is change the name of the sheet. Select the title block and then select where the text says unnamed and we'll name the drawing sheet roof plan. Also select the sheet number and here we'll name this S203. In the project browser under sheets, you will now notice your new sheet is now in the correct position within the rest of the sheets. Okay, that concludes our exercise. Close the project without saving.